Let's take a look at solving systems equations using the substitution method. Now our first step is to solve one of the equations or one of the variables. Doesn't matter which one. Step two is substitute substitute this into the other equation. Step three is to solve. Step four is to substitute this value into the equation from step one. And step five is to solve. Okay. Well, let's uh, take a look at this. Uh, apply to our graphic organizer. See how it uh, see how it goes. Okay, we're gonna take a look at this problem. 5x minus 4y equals 30. Y is equal to 2x minus 9. And I see right away I should have had some place uh, set up so I can write over here, but I'll put it right here. So we got 5x minus 4y is equal to 30 and y is equal to 2x minus 9. So that's our initial problem. Okay. Step 1. Solve one of the equations for one of the variables. So solve. Doesn't matter which one you pick. I'll pick the second equation. We've got y is equal to 2x minus 9. Solve one of the equations for one of the variables. Step two, substitute this into the other equation. Well, the other equation was 5x minus 4y is equal to 30. And over here, we just said y is equal to 2x minus 9. It was already solved for y, so I made that step easy. So we're going to place the y here with 2x minus 9. So we got 5x minus 4 times 2x minus 9. Okay, step 3, solve. So let me carry this down here. So we got 5x minus 4 times 2x minus 9 is equal to 30. Now, first thing I'm going to do is use the distributive property. And uh, okay, decide which side. I'll put it over here. Okay, distributive property. So we got 5x. Uh, negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. Negative 4 times negative 9 is a positive 36. Equals 30. We want to combine together like terms. Five x minus eight x is negative three x plus thirty six equal thirty. Now we're solving linear equations, so I'm gonna get uh, all the numbers over on one side. So I take the thirty six and move it over to the right side. So we've got negative three x is equal to thirty minus thirty six. They are like terms, though even though we don't uh, typically view them that way, uh, numbers uh, they're alike. So we're going to have negative 3x equals uh, 30 minus 36 is negative 6. Then our last step is to divide both sides by the number in front of our x, which is a negative 3. And we get x is equal to 2. Okay, that was step 3. Step 4, substitute this value into the equation from step 1. The equation from step 1 will always be solved for the other variable. So we've got y is equal to 2x minus 9. And we just said that x is equal to 2. So we're going to replace the x here with 2. So we've got y is equal to 2 times 2 minus 9. And then step 5 says solve. So 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 minus 9 gives us negative 5. So our answer, our x was 2 and our y was negative 5. So our answer is 2, negative 5.